on our bush trip. And um, I think we're going to skip the VR just because um, it's a little too intense. And I can't talk to the people um, until I get a second monitor. So I'm making that decision uh, for now. Um, if we get on a road to uh, a good way with Twitch, we can. But I think right now, I can't talk to anybody. So it's not going to work. But what we can do is we can max out these settings um, pretty well. Oh, let's uh, let's move this train level of detail. Let's see how that does. And let's move this object level of details. We'll do 150. Um, I should actually use um, something to monitor. My resource monitor. Um, can't remember. I CPU Z. I think it was. I have. Let me just find that, and then I am going to make sure that not Cinebench. Hardware monitor. Okay, here we go. Okay. So we'll monitor the temperatures and everything here. Um, the CPU usage. Everything. And then we can see if we can turn this up any higher. Uh, we don't want to... Stress it out too crazily. Um, we're just looking at temperatures for the most part, not voltage. Um, we'll start here right away. I want everyone to have a beautiful picture here. And then if we can, we can uh, increase the stream to um, we can increase the stream to uh, 1080. Uh, so for now, we're just going to leave that. Uh, we'll go back in. We'll see how that is. Okay. So we are doing a bush trip. Okay, Breckeridge to Mariposa, you have said to me. I'm gonna minimize this window just a little bit more. Okay. And we are on leg three out of 25. So this one says it's about 19 minutes. Uh, and let's continue. Okay. Uh, so we landed on this like little dirt runway here. I think F8 is to refuel. Oh gosh, this navlog. Um, yeah, it's huge. 
I never had this problem when it was, oh, you can make it small. Okay. Although it looks really weird. Um, VR far map. We're just gonna... Hmm. This is what, we're right there? <laughs> it does not say where we're going or what we're doing. Um, we'll just minimize that for now. We don't really need it. Um, okay. What is going on? It's showing a whole bunch. Wait, is it tracking my... Oh, that is so weird. I don't know what's going on here, guys. Um, we're going to put that right there. Okay, and then we're going to... Get ready to fly. Okay, so let's look out the window here. Um, we don't have much runway. Um, so, we're going to make our way north. i got to find a better place for this. Ugh. This is truly awful. Um, let's just make sure everything is working. Rudder. Okay. Let's do a little bit of gas. We're going to do a little bit of a turn on the runway. Um, okay, we're going to increase it. Okay, we're just going to turn around here. Well, the end of this runway. So we're in this like little savage, if you want to call it savage. Um, it is very minimalistic. It does not have many controls at all. Um, so supposedly fuel is above us somewhere. I don't really know. I don't know where it is. That should be enough. Um, Okay, and we are going to slowly increase. Let's see who else is around us first. We got uh, Teaming Wharf, okay. Uh, D Black, SD, Dabongo, James West, and uh, Blue Heaven. And uh, some other names, Mumble Jag. Okay. Ooh, and it sounds like we also got some jets above us. Okay. Oh, where are we going? Um, I do would like, I would like to get r controls, but unfortunately, uh, there is a crazy sale. 
Uh, oh, let's uh, turn those flaps off. Oh, that's so much easier. VR, it's tough. It is... Huh. It's tough. This, not so much. Okay, let's get back in here. Here. Let's minimize this HUD. Okay, so it says here, we're going to use the rose as a guide. Okay. And we're not going to be going far, it looks like. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, yeah, they still haven't fixed that problem. Um, we're going to be making our way north, 339. Oh my gosh. Why can't I zoom in? Well, I got to fix that. Um... So the problem is, I mostly play this game uh, just on VR, and then streaming it is very tough. Um, so we're three, three, four, one. Not a big deal. Oh, there we go. Um. Okay. Dried out bed of Owens Lake. Now a massive salt field dotted with sporadic seasonal brine ponds. Wow. Beyond the basin, a bit of farther north lies a small frontier town, Lone Pine. Okay, so we get to Lone Pine. Oh, that might be it actually. No. Never mind. It's 14 minutes um, until we get there. We'll probably get there in about, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes. We're actually not going very fast. So, um, let's put on some trim. It'll increase our speed. We don't want to go too fast. Oh. Okay. Definitely don't want to go too fast. Okay. Okay, we'll go back in here. So we're just basically following the road here. Um It looks like but Okay, hold to lock. Um, how do I zoom? Uh, general options here. Control options. Zoom. Uh, mouse wheel up. Okay. Okay, so that's easy. So while I like VR, um, it doesn't really do anything for the viewers other than you seeing me wear a headset and I can't really talk to anyone. So it doesn't really make sense that I keep that on. 
So we're just going to minimize that right there. Oh, man. What? Oh, my goodness. That is truly awful. When you highlight this, I mean, it just... Just gets rid of everything. I wish they could integrate this a little bit better. You know what I'm going to do? Maybe if I do it like this. Oh. I need a second monitor. Haha. <laughs> for this. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, so we're following this road. It's been four minutes. You know what? We'll just put it right behind chat here. Which also doesn't work because I need to see my airspeed and stuff. But we'll just do that. Okay, so let's get off of that. I wonder if there's a zoom. Oh, okay. That's a little bit zoomed in. Uh, let's see who we can see. We can see Mumble Jack, uh, J Dub 51. German guy. Uh, something like hamster. <laughs> uh, Demon wharf. Oh, there's the sand uh, or the salt pits. Looks like over there. No one above us. So we're we're a little high. Uh, I'm gonna drop down a little bit here. Do some trim. Should increase our airspeed a little bit. But we'll get there quicker. So we're supposed to be doing 339. Um, trim up one more there we go okay so we're pretty much at our max air speed here that we should be at on here it says I'm doing 81 but in here it says I'm doing 180 kilometers an hour and this is in knots um, that doesn't seem right. Kilometers an hour. It, okay, so this says I'm, I'm in the yellow, but in here it says I'm nowhere near the yellow. That's weird. Um. If you're uh, tuning in and you're not on Twitch, please go to twitch.tv uh, slash oburn123 and uh, follow me. You'll get notifications when I'm online. You can talk to me. I'll make sure I get those messages. Facebook's a little unreliable, uh, unfortunately. Um, And it doesn't always happen. So I'm using just a regular old Xbox controller. Nothing fancy. I could use a keyboard and mouse. Um, but I'm not. We're just going to correct our course here. We are looking for Lone Pine Town. OK. 
Okay. And we're supposed to be at a heading of 339. We are currently near there. Hmm. It's pretty, it's very pretty. It's so much better not on VR. Um. And uh, I'm going to check and see how my CPU is doing here right now. Okay, so temperatures uh, are good. CPU usage is... It's good. Um... Temperature of our CPU has increased. It's uh, leveled out. It was up uh, to 79 degrees for our 5900X uh, AMD. Fans are doing good. Temperatures are all ab uh, below 80. That's real good. Um, GPU did get up to 80 degrees for a hot spot, I guess. Whatever that is. Um, I guess that's a spot that's just hot. Uh, fans are very high. Um, video is doing good. GPU's at 100%. Oh no, GPU's not even at 100% here. We're only at 78%. Uh, so we can definitely increase this right now. Um, so let's go ahead and just do that. So well, we're going to go in there. Let's just make... Hmm. Let's make this terrain. Ooh, yeah. Clouds and ultra. Uh, I don't know about that one. Uh. We don't. We don't have huge water waves. Um. Yeah. Let's. And this is during the day, so it could. Uh, It could change. Depths of field. Motion blur. Ooh. Rumble motion blur. Let's do that to medium. Lens correction. Mm. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Glass fresh rate medium. Okay. Um Ultra. Back to ultra. Trees Ultra. Okay. We're gonna... Oh, okay. So some of them won't, won't uh, go crazy. We'll see We'll see how that does. Actually... That looks kind of weird. Um, almost grainy. And I think that's the... Hmm... I think it's because I turned on that lens correction. Oh yeah, that's a lens correction. Oh, that's so much better. That's pretty. Okay. So we're at 10 minutes. We should be seeing... Um, oh, there you go. There's a little pine right down there. Okay, so if you're tuning in, oh wow, the depth of field 
and everything else. I mean, it looks it looks real. Like we're right there. Um, Oh, yeah, can you do this with your head? Because I can. Okay. So, when we get there, we are going to reset. We're almost over top. Okay, uh, because you can't really measure distance by flying very accurately unless you use time. Um, so our GPU is now up a little bit. It's up to 80. Ooh. We can just re we could reset it, but it's up to 83%. So it's doing good. Uh, we're going to reset this. Okay. And we're going to look at what it says here. Okay. To the west of Lone Pine. 321. Uh, west. Where are we going? Okay, we're going to move off a little bit here. Okay, we're going to go 325, around there. Okay, set against the jagged peaks of the Sierra and I'll find the rounded couture, uh, contours of the Alabama Hills and the NLA Aqueduct. So we did go by the aqueduct. It's, uh, it's going up right now. As you can see, it's uh, so pretty. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it, it's super pretty. Um, we're going to go down and look at it a little bit, I think. A short distance from there, uh, between the road and the waters, waste your airport. Okay, so that is, oh, we forgot to start this. That's kind of the big deal. Uh, it's five minutes away, 321. Okay, so let's see here. A short distance from, okay. Aqueduct's running along the, its base. Okay. Follow the waterway north until, uh, until it crosses path with the highway. A short distance from there, between the road and the water, waits an airstrip. Okay, so that's what the airstrip is going to look like. So, uh, we can minimize that there. We're going to move this stream up a little bit here. Okay. And we are good to go. Okay. So, we need to go 321. We're, we're, three, we're a little over. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. That's perfect, sure, why not? Just level out here. Let's see, 321, oh yeah, look at that, 321. Right on. Okay, so and we're gonna move up a little bit so we can see everything that's going on. I mean, look at that, like, it, I wonder what that is. Um, Cause that's, that's cool. We're gonna reduce our speedle here a little bit. Oh, hey, look, there's the uh, airstrip right there. We can go and we can start making our final approach here. We're actually going to put on our flaps. Okay. We're going to slow our airspeed right down and our engine because we are way too high. Okay. And. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Uh, my buddy and I don't have a debate on it, but uh, basically, once we're lined up, we will make our way around. We're gonna reduce the speed just a little bit. We're losing a lot of altitude. Oh. Okay. OK, 
Okay. We're going to start descending now. Oh, we just uh, we did flaps here. We need a, we need to lose a lot of speed here. Uh, and we need to lose some So we're at uh, 120 kilometers per hour here. I think we chose the shorter runway, but that's okay. Okay. We're at how, m how much for speed? Or yeah, uh, vertical. Uh, we're at 7,000 and we're dropping. Okay, drop a little bit more. Air, okay. Should be around 90 for landing. So we're gonna bring it back. Let's well, can take off for flaps. It's gonna increase the airspeed. Actually, we'll put that back on. Never mind. Okay, reduce speed. It's so much harder when you're not in VR. I'm uh, a little concerned. Okay, okay. This little bush pain is going down. Oh, and there's the road. Wow, that is like super close. I feel like we could make the textures a little bit better. Okay. We got to flare up a little bit here. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to slowly break. So one thing if you don't know, if you don't slowly break, what's going to happen is that back is going to come off, that back wheel, and you're going to be in big trouble. So we did that pretty good. Um, we can continue on. I just like to go back to the menu and go back. So we'll go back to the bush menu here. We're 12% done. Um, we're on like four. This is a long one. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be <clears throat> about 50 minutes, I'm going to say. It's 9 a.m. Okay, we're going to F8 it. Okay, F8, we got to fill our fuel gauge. 
We are... We're gonna check, make sure our flaps, well, are up. Okay. Uh, flat, that's crazy. Yeah, they need to fix that. They need to fix that real bad. What, so, when I press, okay, look at this. When I turn the flaps on, once, it goes that much. But when I try and go back, it takes like four times. So, not, not the greatest. Um, okay, so. We are going to be, let's see here. As you take flight from Manzanar. I don't know where we're here. I thought we were at uh, Little Pine. Pick up back for Route 395. So that was the divided road. We are going to head north. Highway will lead you toward another small town. Independence. Interesting. Okay. Then we are going to use the road as our guide and continue north. Uh, we're going to look at telltale lava flows and your cones from uh, a big pine volcanic field to the west so big pine must be the area um, so we're gonna find a reservoir okay you know what we're just gonna wing it for now once we get in the air okay we gotta make sure this is oh see we gotta make sure that's uh, Okay, we're going to slowly increase our speed here. Okay. Or not. Oh, okay. So it takes like four to go around. Okay. Yeah, so that's uh, our stall indicator. My problem is I have an awful time without flight controls. Um, so we're looking for the road. Which I believe is just over here. Uh, we're supposed to be going 314. Okay, so there's the road. We can start this. Okay. And it looks like we are going three twenty. Okay. Okay, our airspeed's finally going up. Mumble Jack's in front of us. It looks like uh looks like he's on the ground for some reason. <laughs> I wonder if, do you think he ran out of fuel? It looks like he's on the ground in a C-208. Well, let's go over there. I want to see. That's... Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's close by. 
But that's super low. I feel like. Is he on the ground? Okay. So. I really need a second screen. That Avlog. Yeah, he's totally on the ground. So, uh, let's get a little lower and see. We don't want to get our airspeeds a little high. It looks like he meant to land on that runway and he missed. I'd like to talk to him. I wonder if there's something you can do to talk to people in chat or in real life let's slow right down this is this is hilarious um we got to figure out how to talk to this guy um controller options cuz i believe you can talk to people um voice no options uh, assistance options no it wouldn't be here activities no it's under general options it's got to be sound um Communication, Eddie Audio, Headphone, Communication, Default, Convert Audio to Mono, no, don't do that, Spatial Sound, um, Aircraft Engines, yeah, we gotta turn that right down, it's too loud. Um, traffic, real time online, huh. data, it's got to be around here somewhere, um, let me look it up, just give me a second here. Uh, talking in flight simulator. Okay, Microsoft Flight Simulator, how to talk to ATC. No, I don't want to talk to ATC. Um, I want to talk to other players. Um... How to talk, uh, other players. Okay, multiplayer. I am, how do you use comms? Uh, you need to connect with ATC at all. Players will have to turn their radios to the correct frequency. It'll bring up the menu. Players can adjust the correct frequency on the screen. Okay, I don't know how to do that. So, we'll just leave it. But, cancel. Go back. Discard. Uh, but Mumblejack is... He's on the ground. 
And, uh... Oh, this is nice. It's not, it's not black anymore. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's... Maybe he's on... On the ground? Yeah, he's on the runway. Kind of. He's not on the runway. Uh, and his C208. So. I don't... What is a C208? Um, C208. What does that look like? Okay. Just a little plane. Yep. Okay. So, Navlog. Where are we going here? Oh, it's back to, um... We're, at, we're supposed to be going to 3, 1, 4 here. Um... Did we just pass that place that we were supposed to be at? Okay. Yeah, that's totally... Pick out Rune Eye will lead you to another small town, Independence. I think that might have been it. Yeah. We're going to start that over, okay? So, now we're going to use the ride to follow north. 343. Three. Okay. We're going to do that for 10 minutes. Volcanic Fields. Uh, east. Okay, so we're following this. 343. Three. And you can see the volcanic fields off on our left here. Oh, we're going to do that for 10 minutes. Okay. 3, 4, 3. I think we're there. Mm. A lot less uh, noise. Ugh, those vehicles look awful. I almost wish they didn't put in traffic, but... Because it, it looks pretty bad. Um, it doesn't look great. Um, can we make the traffic look better? Worker density. Uh, leisure boats. Use generic plane models. AI traffic. No. Oh. Traffic variety. Yeah, that's on fauna density, ships and ferries. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Road vehicles. Well, actually, we'll turn that. We'll turn that down. Okay. Worker density. Yeah, we can have lots of workers. Ground airport vehicle name plates. Okay. So it doesn't look like we can have. too much. We'll just resume here. So we're going for 10 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer. What are we supposed to be looking for? Oh my goodness. Okay. East of the highway is uh... Tain Maha Reservoir. All right. Three, four, three. Which was what we're doing. Okay. I'm gonna move down a little bit here. Get a better view. And uh, if you're uh, watching on um, Facebook right now, uh, feel free to go to twitch.tv slash oburn123. It's in the description. Uh, leave a follow. It would uh, greatly help. Oh, uh, who do we got over here? Um, we've got... H B Z X K O O N. Um, uh, 
Uh, Mumblejack still hasn't moved. He must be going for a pee break. Uh, so there's the aqueduct. And there's the road. We need to be between them. We could increase our engine speed here just a little bit. We don't want to go too fast. But I think we're doing okay. We're supposed to be doing three, four, three. We're doing a little over that, but that's okay. I wish I could make it transparent again. That was amazing. So much better. So we're looking for that reservoir. Ah, I see it straight ahead. Looks like we're going to be there in about five minutes. Off the left, I believe, or was it north? Oh, maybe. I think it said north. There is, uh, lava. Okay. Let's see here. How are we doing? Oh yeah. Three four. So this is three three. Three four. So that's three five. We're supposed to be doing three four three. So doing a little bit over. We'll just correct. We want to basically go right over this thing. And then we can start our um next clock oh, that aqueduct man that is a work of art right there um, there is an aqueduct uh, near us it is massive uh, I think it's one of the largest aqueducts it's actually featured um, It looks pretty bad, but it's uh, it's it's not in use anymore, like this one is. It was all out of the ground, so um, pretty cool sight to see. Okay, so we're just gonna correct here. We're gonna move forward a little bit. How do we do that? Move forward. Oh, there we go. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. Perfect. Road off to our left. Okay, hamster one, two, three, four, five, and German guy three. German guy three is pretty high up there. Eleven thousand feet. Hamster doesn't have an elevation, looks like.
All right. Just gonna uh, get comfy here. This plane's a little uncomfy. Okay, so we can uh, safely reset this now and start it. So we're done with two. So northwest, uh, we are going to be going 322. Okay. A rise of a crater a mountain. That's cool. To Big Pine proper. A town that still bears geological scars of a massive 1872 earthquake. That's crazy. So... 323 so right on there we're not too far we're gonna be doing this for four minutes it looks like and we're looking for that crater crater mountain Wow okay um Northwest. That's straight ahead of us. Maybe they mean this. So we got Desert Commando, who just dropped in. He's at 9,000 feet when we're climbing. What else have we got? Oh. One of these days it's going to catch me. Oh, uh, is it an airport? No. Um, northwest. We are in exactly northwest. Um, maybe that is Crater Mountain right there. That's got to be it. Oh, wait. Uh, unless that's it, right? Well, no. Like, look at that aqueduct all the going through. That's a really cool. They elevated it all the way down. Oh, no. Is that the aqueduct? What is that, then? Is that a road? I think that's a road. That'd be a really cool sight to see. Okay, we're still following 395. Let's uh, reset that one. Glistening waters of the Klondike Lake. Okay, so... We're going to start that here. Bishop, California. Mule capital of the world. Mule capital of the world? Like, do they mean, like, like, donkeys, mules? Or do they mean, like, drug smugglers? I feel like they don't mean drug smugglers. Because if it was drug smugglers, I mean, <laughs> nobody wants to, uh, um, be known for that so I guess we're looking for a bunch of mules donkeys I wonder if there's a difference I think mules are smaller than donkeys
Somebody please enlighten me, because I would love to know. Alright, we got some stuff below us here. We're down to 90% fuel. So, in, uh, if you don't know, if you're just tuning in, go to Twitch TV, Oburn123. Um, it's links in Facebook. And when you do that, uh, if you follow me, that would be greatly appreciated. Wow, look at this community. It's like a rectangle. There's the aqueduct. Hmm, where's that the aqueduct? That's a road. That looks like maybe there's two aqueducts there. We're supposed to be going 325. A little bit more this way. Perfect. The glistening waters of the Klondike Lake, hey? It doesn't look that glistening. I'm not gonna lie. It kinda looks a little green. Like, not a good green either. Like, we, in our first little bit, we went over some nice lakes. This is not nice. Definitely not glistening. Uh, here is my co-pilot today. Uh, his name is Jack. And uh, he will be guiding us. Okay, so we're now we're looking for a town up ahead. So there's the road. My co-pilot's giving me lots of kisses. Okay, I see what looks like in the distance. Um, mule capital of the world, straight ahead. You see what I see on my screen. Um, you'll see a long, almost looks like a runway. I bet you that's part of an aqueduct system. bit so you can see uh oh of course you can't there we go oh geez okay <laughs> oh, it increased our airspeed a little bit too much there. So, uh, mule capital of the world. Interesting.
look at the sights. Surrounded by mountains all around us. Looks like they're gonna open up here. Ouch. I gotta cut your claws. Get a little too, too much. Ouch. Not my Lincoln Park shirt. Oh my gosh, your claws are too much. Alright, so we're in the Savage. 160 kilometers an hour. Airspeed's a little high. Can Decker, German guy, Amster, Hover 2, Ghost Protocol, Mumblejack is all around us. We're making good time here. So, mule capital of the world here, Bishop, California. <sighs> There's the road, that's what we're following. Okay, we're gonna reset here. Uh, as it passes through Bishop, the highway splits off towards the west, but what will keep the same heading? Okay. And pick up US Route 6. So we're going 355. Okay. Hopefully we don't get lost. We don't, we're trying to get the achievement here. Trying to do this all on our own here. Without any help. Oh yeah, it's totally splitting off ahead. I wonder where it's going. Oh, there's a airfield right there. Completely missed it. I'm surprised we're not going there. And up ahead, ooh, we're gonna see this really cool. Well, we've been wondering what this is for a while. Is it a cavern?
Wow. I wonder if this is where, like, two faults meet. Is that a, is it, oh, I wonder if there's a, a water in there. Oh, uh, yep. It's an old river right there. Wow. That's pretty. Alright. So, now, we're keeping our current route. And we are going looking for another road. I think that's the road we're following right there. Route 6. Let's just go over there. We'll say that's the road. It's either that run or that one over there, but something tells me it's this one right here. It will bend east. We're a little off. Chaffins at the foot of the White Mountains Wilderness Area. So something tells me that that's where we want to be. Maybe off to the right, not the left. At the foot of the White Mountain Wilderness Area. Where's the White Mountain? Hmm. Lots of clouds over there. Covering that. It's kind of cool. Maybe that's it right there. The White Mountain Wilderness area. Okay. Let's say it is. Okay, so now we are uh, Past uh, Chaffant tracks, the farmland awaits along with an isolated oblong body of water to the east. Okay. And we're going 336. So. oblong body of water. I feel like that should be easy to find. To the east. Can't be that hard. I hope.
Definitely not water. That is a road. It's about five minutes out. So maybe we'll see it farther up. I think that could be up ahead. Okay, that's got to be it up there. How's our GPU usage? Um, Alright, we're not even using that much GPU, so that's good. Um, we are using a lot of memory for it though. I guess we're at 83% utilization. So that's pretty, pretty good. Um, and CPU, we're doing really good as well. Okay. Oblong water. to the east. That's east. We're going north. Oh. And we should be going 336. Okay, so nothing yet. Wow. These was must be the farmers that uh, do crops down here. Okay, they're cro big giant crop circles. And I, I feel like it would be hard to grow stuff. Oh, we are way off course. Let's get back here. Okay. Why I'm not seeing this oblong water? I'm hoping we went the right way.
Well, that's it right there. Ooh. What is that? That could be it. That looks like water right over there. It's either that or... Something coming off the water? That's got to be it. Okay. There's the oblong water right there. Okay. So, we can reset that. And, uh, seven minutes. In the, we're just a little bit over, so. Okay, so now we're going to go 324. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, carry on up the road as the roll hills rise, rolling hills rise to the west, and the town of Benton comes into view ahead. You'll know you arrived when you see. you reach the main crossroads and see the town's scattered collection of trees amongst the desert. Okay. Trees amongst the deserts. So we're doing that. Oh. We forgot to start that. Well, it'll be like four minutes, maybe a little bit less. I can see it right there, so. We don't want to get too close to these mountains. We lost, uh, we lost our partner here, co-pilot, Jack. So. There's the road. It's supposed to merge into another road, or, uh, crossroads. And all the trees. That's kind of cool. This would be very hard to do at nighttime. Glad we're not doing it then. If not impossible. And if you want me to fly anywhere, let me know. Um, and in what in? I'm not really good at cold starting, but I will learn. Okay, so we're going to check the time here. Should we be at about well, four minutes and then... Oh, we got about another minute left. And then... Once that goes to four, then we should be just about there. 
see the town's scattered collection of trees. Let's see. Do we see any trees, guys? Oh. Yeah, there are lots of scattered of trees here. Okay. I think we can safely say that one's done. So outside of ben, uh, Benton, Route 6 bends northeast. Yeah, it does bend northeast. That's right. So we're definitely on the right track. Uh, pointing in direction toward the desert peak of Mount Montgomery. Okay. And the borderline between California and Nevada. Well, we were uh, following the Nevada... Um, mountains so I was wondering because we were in California but we were following the Nevada mountains so I didn't really understand but I kind of do it I know not really good with geography with uh, when it comes to US geography but we'll get there okay And how long is that supposed to be? Four minutes. Um, okay. Our trim is now proper. Okay. Zero one four is where we want to go. Zero one four. Well, I'll overcorrect a little bit. Zero one four. Perfect. Okay. So once. The borders between California and Nevada. Once you've crossed over, look for the remains of an old ranch on the west side of the road. West side. That would be on the left side. Okay. Uh, locals call it the Dirt Runway because it's uh, Madame Airport. And it's next stop on your tour to the High Sierra. Okay, we don't need this anymore, I don't think. Oh, hey, there we go. Now this would have been much better to have. The snap log. I don't know why that wasn't there the whole time. Um Okay. So I think we should be coming up there soon. It was only like four minutes away. Um There it is right there. I'm pretty sure. Although, I don't think that's it actually. We forgot to reset our clock too. It's only supposed to be four minutes, so. Um, it's right next to the road. That's got to be it right there. If you can see my mouse, I'm guessing that's it. We're going to land there. So we're going to lower our speed. Start preparing for landing. Okay. Approach looks good. Yeah, it's got to be it. Flaps down a little bit. It's going to raise our nose. And then it's going to drop down.
Of course, I should not have used my rudder controls, and I did. Okay, we're gonna drop our speed down. Flare. Oh boy. I can't tell which is the runway and which isn't. Let's see how we do. We did it. Perfect. Fifty four minutes. 52 minutes on here. Okay. We are 16% done. We're supposed to be uh, 49. We did 51. That's pretty good. Next one is only 21 minutes. Uh, we did uh, 140 kilometers. Okay, so this next one. doesn't say where we're going to be going, but we're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the runway on here, and you can see where I was. Um, okay. So... My fuel, we'll hit F8, we're at full now. Okay, so it automatically fuels. So, uh, we're going to head northeast along the Nevada Route 6 again. Montgomery Pass, Desolate Mountain Road, a few miles. And here's another state, Route 60. Former town of Basalt. It's about five minutes away. If I close that one and I open this one. Oh. Can I close that one and open up the other one? Oh yeah, that one's way better. Okay. You can, but that's as small as you can make it. Okay. So. We're going to start that. Okay. And we are gonna go. But we. Oh, this is hard to move. Oh, God. We're going to start that over again, because that was awful. Yeah, we're going to restart that. So the biggest problem is, is this rudder control. Um, they And they got to fix it. I don't know.
Okay. So yeah, it's uh, it's challenging. Oh wait, do I have my flaps? Okay, I think I had my flaps. I think that might have been a problem. That'll do it. Okay, where are we going? No, don't use this. Okay, 038. For five minutes. Until you reach a junction with the Nevada State Route 60. Okay. Completing a bush trip without using Get Me Back on Track feature. Award an achievement for the particular activity. That's great. We're going to raise up our trim or down a little bit so we can get a little bit more height over this because we're having a hard time climbing. Might just have to climb on our own. Might have to go left a little bit here. We're gonna lose a little bit of airspeed. That's okay. Just need to keep climbing. Okay, zero four zero zero four one I think it was. Just about there. Okay. Perfect. Our trim is great. We're increased. Going zero three zero. Should be going a little bit this more. No, wrong way. Okay. Zero four two, that's pretty good. We're doing that for five minutes. Okay, we're pretty much there. The former town of Basalt. Okay. I don't, uh, oh. We did lose a lot of speed, so. We'll see if we're there. Okay, so there is a junction right there. OK. 
Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to go 016. So we are there. So that's the junction. Close that. Head northeast. 016. That's the junction, I'm sure of it. Okay, 016. Kind of cheating because I'm using this. It's just hard to use the one inside. If I was there, it'd be a little different. Um, after you pass the impressive Moho Valleys. Okay, oh, we are a little off. And twist through the hills of the Middle Country, Nevada, as you pass the impressive. Uh, I'm guessing that's the Moho Mountain. Co-pilot Jack is back. Where are we going, Jack? Hmm? Oh, uh, we forgot to start that. Uh, we'll just give it an extra minute or two. Uh, less. It's going to be 11 minutes. So We're right on there. Okay, so, wow, my purple seat, Big Daddy, J-Rod, <laughs> I want to know what my name is. Where's my name? Can't I see my name? ADP. Uh, Oh my goodness. Should have never have touched that. Okay, I think it's finally leveled out. Uh, we're going zero one six. Everything looks exactly the same. Oh. Let's trim a little bit. That's better. Oh, a little bit of cloud cover here. Going for about mm, 13. Thirteen minutes.
Okay. We're looking for the dried up road salt marsh. I'm guessing that's what's up ahead. I'm going to stay on for that heading. Looks pretty dried up. This one's not as exciting. Those uh, mountains look really weird. Like all the white. Like it looks like it was hit by like meteors or something. Like just several, or maybe like rock slides. Or like it's salt oozing out. definitely interesting. Oh, we are way off. Oh, Optimus Prime is here. Great. He can save us. Transform. Must be a lot of salt in Nevada, because it's just like, look how white it is. Hey, Captain Jack. <laughs> Captain Jack. Oh, hey, look at that. Your path intersects uh, Veterans Memorial Highway. Near the dried up road, salt marsh. We made it. We weren't even that off. That's pretty great. And we got there super quick. Like way quicker than 11 minutes. And we were going to add two minutes because we were a little bit far on time. We forgot to start our clock. So. A little bit of a course correction. So. Okay, we can reset that. Follow uh, highway north. Okay, relative short distance and you'll soon see the small town of Mina on the horizon.
to the East Sands and Unassuming Public Use Airport. The next stop on your Bush Adventure. No, come on down. Okay. And that is four minutes away. Oh, that is hard to see. It's like they didn't take care of the one area. Um, Jack, you gotta come down. No. Three, four, eight. We are super high. Okay, we can get rid of this, I think. Um. Hmm. I am not seeing it. No, Jack, you can't lick it, bud. Come on. <laughs> Come here. There. Can't like the mouse. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that it right there? That's gotta be it. Okay. Let's see if that's it. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Nose goes up. And then nose goes down. Okay. That's where we need to go. But we are only doing... <laughs> okay, no, we're doing about... Um, what's well, weird? That's a knots or... Okay. 50 knots? Yeah, we're just losing a lot of speed here. We're going to lower that up. Because we are ready. Okay. Start making our final. Drop those down a little bit here. No, we're 
have to put, we don't want our airspeed too high. We want to lose altitude, we're too high. Okay, we're gonna turn in. I like to follow the rivets. Go right in between the two rivets. Okay. There we go, we're dropping. Oh, so that's where people have been landing. Okay, I just thought it was an unfinished area of the track. It's definitely not. Lots of speed, which we don't want. Oh my gosh. A flare. Nice and easy. Okay, we did it. I think. Yeah, we did. Perfect. 24 minutes. That's perfect. 22 for... Hmm. Okay. We are 20% done, Becker Ridge to Mariposa, you said to me. Think we can do this one? This is our next bush trip. We're at Mina Airport. Okay, let's fill up the gas. Let's just make sure. You hit F8. I think it is. We're full. Flaps. We're going to take off. Okay. No. Okay. From Mina Airport, you'll take off and head northwest. So that's where we are. Traveling a short distance to reach Lunning, another small town on the bend in a road. Okay, and now that'll be five minutes away. So we're going to start that. And we will take off.
Okay. Thing to say, we are airborne. So we're going 321, which is this way. Okay, I should be right on 321, a little bit off. Okay. I guess I'm going to follow this road here. Let's uh, move up so we can see stuff. So, we're going to Ludwig. Lungwig or something like that. Oh, we can reduce our throttle here just a little bit. We don't want to get too much speed here. We want to enjoy everything that's going on. We're in this little savage here. We're going to do our trim. Get lots of speed, hopefully not too much. Let's just make sure. Oh, oh a little bit too much speed. We don't want to stress out our aircraft. Which we almost did. It's okay. We got this. Okay. Next, we're moving off to one side. Okay. 321, we're a little bit off. Let's get it back on. There we go. Cool right there. Alright. This one should be a short trip, I believe. Not too, too long, from what I remember. 20 minutes. Five minutes to get to Lungwick or something like that. We're just following this road. In fact, I can see it right ahead of us. So we're going to go right over the middle. So. That's perfect. Beautiful hills. It's weird. It's they're green, but it doesn't look like there's any vegetation really on them. Like, I wonder if that's what they really look like. I could imagine like living in this area. It looks so secluded. Like there's nothing around. There's no Walmarts or, you know, like, it's not like a big city. Like, you have these, like, little tiny towns, and that's all you have. Okay, looks like we're flying over Lungwick. Is that is that my saying that right? Let me let me see. Looning, huh? Not even close. Okay. So we're there. Okay. So next we're gonna go two six four. Ooh, wow, we're almost there. 
Um, long haul, 14 minutes. Start. This we're there. Uh, long haul west, which is there. Following Highway 95, that's that one I'm guessing. To Hawthorne, Nevada, a seat of mineral country. Hawthorne calls itself American America's Patriotic Home. Okay. Complete with the world's largest army ammunition depot. But it's also home to a municipal <sighs> municipal airport. Okay. Two six four. Got a ways to go. So that's what we're looking for right there. I'm going to aim for the big uh, real runway here. So 30, 290, 280, 270, 260. Okay. 290, 280, 270, 260, 280, 270, 260, 280, 270, 260, we move that down. Just left of west. Okay, we can zoom out. We're going to be great. Oh, and what's the place we're going? Um, Hawthorne. Isn't there a show about Hawthorne? Oh, we could uh, definitely increase our speed here a little bit. Are we supposed to follow this road all the way there? Okay, yeah. I'm guessing. So, as long as we follow it, we'll be fine. Uh, if you're just tuning in um, on Facebook, go to uh, Twitch TV slash Oburn123 links in the description um, and give me a follow really need your help with that uh, to be part of Twitch's program I need 50 followers so if you could help me out with that that would really help it would uh, also help me keep doing what I'm doing and uh, You'll get notifications about um, what I'm doing online, and you can also suggest content. Um, I'm not big on to jump scares, um, but if we get enough followers, we can make anything happen. Um, so, and. Uh, yeah, I'm not great. I'm a little kind of afraid of... Like, I, I played Resident Evil, I think it was 6. I don't know. It was... And I didn't play VR. But it was one of the scariest things. Um, 
So, the more people we have watching and following, the more likely I am that my extreme I would I don't I don't even say it's a phobia, but it's it's pretty bad. Um It's going to you, you'll get a good laugh, let's just say that. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit lower here. I feel like uh, we're pretty high. It's nice to see everything, but maybe we want to see what's down below us. It's like that road bends a little bit to the left here. So my airspeed indicators, one says I'm doing 160, this one says I'm doing 150. What? This tax says I'm doing 50. Oh, it's not even a tax. Okay. 85, 60. Mm. That one says I'm below 85. And I'm going down at 85 now. But this one, okay. That's a little weird. I think I see the airport. I definitely do. I can see the lights in the distance. That is amazing. So we're going to get ready here. Mumble Jack. Jarbear, 98. Must be in a jet. He is climbing quick. <clears throat> I wonder what all these do. Landing lights. Sure, turn those on. Strobe lights? Sure. Magneto?
Okay. Okay, we're almost there. Ooh, yeah, we're a little we're a little too fast. There's the airport. What is that following? Oh, there's a Oh, never mind. Okay. We're almost there. Final approach here. I'm going to go over a little bit more. There we go. That feels a little bit better. Slowly losing altitude. Use our flaps to slow us down a little bit. Drop the altitude. Need to look correct a little bit here.
not fair. Coming in a little high, a lot higher than I would like. So we'll drop down the nose. That's better. I gotta fix these rudder controls. All right, 21 minutes. This was did 23. Yep, 23 minutes. It's pretty good. Okay, so that was supposed to be 17. Spent a lot of time on the ground though. Um, I think we're going to call it uh, a stream. Um, I had a really good time. Uh, thanks for all the followers today. Um, And, uh, I hope, uh, we can get to 50 here soon. So, mm, I'll be on tomorrow, uh, same time. Uh, I'll try and get boxing on, uh, a little bit better. Uh, I might have to be away, uh, from the camera. I was hoping to have the camera facing, but it just doesn't seem to be possible. So, I think that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll start again at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. And we'll see what else. We might go back into, uh, uh, get that plane. we got to land it. So, in... Uh, DCS. So, thank you all, and have a great rest of your day.